Coco Melon, the most evil channel on YouTube. My son is almost what? two and I've been letting him watch Coco Melon, but okay. now I had to get him speech therapy so I can get him to talk. There are oh. hundreds and hundreds oh. of anecdotes in which oh. parents mention the exact same problem. Mr. Blah, the Coco Melon show is so insanely addictive, it's being compared to nicotine and causing developmental issues amongst the kids who can't stop watching. Oh. Children's TV Wait, expert what? Jerrica Sands calls it the most damaging show a child can watch explaining the sneaky ways in which they make the show addictive. I ain't gonna lie. Mason was never addicted to Coco Miller, right? Uh-huh. But remember when um, it was a TikTok trend? It was Coco Miller was trending on TikTok, and I was really finding out how, how like, them kids was, like, they stuck. stuck. Yeah. Like, I've seen kids that, like, Mickey or Spidey or, or, or Bubble Guppies or whatever, whatever, but Coco Melon? They were stuck. Firstly, there's the colors. Take, for example, the wheels on the bus. The three main colors, blue, green, and yellow, are all at maximum saturation, meaning they cannot be made any brighter, no matter how hard you try. Extreme saturation is normally used for alerts and notifications, as it's okay. exciting, dynamic, and attracts attention, which is why it's also used in slot machines. Okay, yeah. Coco okay, Melon puts these was, colors what? in perfect contrast, making them appear even more vibrant, oh. which is different to, for example, bluey, Ooh. in which the colors instead blend together. Mm. Coco Melon's also different because it's highly repetitive. There's a reason they have 38 videos with over a billion oh. views. A child's brain is wired to learn through repetition, so it feels right to them to watch the same yes. thing over and over yes. again. Yes. Coco Melon abuses this in almost every video. Yes. For example, in the Yes Yes Playground song, they pick a word to repeat three times in every <laughs> sentence. I'm gonna start, start doing this to you niggas. These niggas are brilliant, bro. <laughs> these niggas are brilliant. I, I, I say it, bro. These, these niggas made a bag. Bro, <laughs> I was, bro I'm, I'm, about to, boy, I'm about to make I'm about to make I, chocolate I, chocolate peach, nigga. It's like you can say a whole lot of things about cocoa melon. But what at if the they just, the, what if they just trying to make content yeah, for kids? At the end of the day, you are the parent for one. Yeah. So let's call that's, you are the parent now. They're just toddlers and babies. Come on now. You can control what they watch. Fine. Second of all, second of all, if you own the channel and it worked, who wouldn't be doing the same shit? Bro, Come on now. Come on now. Bag, Come on, man. What are we like, talking about? Like, yeah. Around lullaby, <laughs> keeping children hooked. Literally, no show or movie puts my son into a deep trance the way Coco Melon does. The second it's on the TV, he turns into a toddler zombie who doesn't see or hear that's anything freakish. else that's yes. going on in the room. I'll turn it this off. is only exacerbated by Coco Melon's subtitles, which have also been a heavy point of criticism. The letters are not educational. I can barely read them fast enough. It's simply another interesting element to capture your little one's attention. Coco Probably, Melon explains yeah. in yeah. every description, our goal is to help make learning a fun and enjoyable experience for kids, giving you the peace of mind that your children are receiving quality educational content. But people have argued that they're teaching exactly what children shouldn't do. For example, in the No No Bedtime song, uh -huh. the baby refuses to brush his teeth, have a bath, True. put on pajamas, or get in bed. The education is that he eventually True. agrees to do so, yet a TikTok user was critical, stating, anytime I'd ask my son to do a simple task, he'd say no, no, no. He's sitting there watching Coco Melon, which taught him no, 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 and to say no to me. On the All right, here's where you make the correction. Exactly, per per uh, come on now. Falls in the parents. It's okay that you let him watch Coco Melon thinking it was a good, sh like thinking it was what you wanted him to watch. But yeah. once you find out it's not what you want him to watch, correct you. you know, what like, and for those parents that try to say, I turn it off and he just gets to going crazy. Well, now you have to get his attention with something else. Yeah. Whether for the, whether for the time being that's a cookie just to get his mind off Coco Melon and then switch it to something else or a different show or an activity. Yes. Or a game in real life. It's your job. To stimulate as, the kid you made as a parent. Come on, man. It's like when it's like when you take them to the park, and of course they don't want to leave the park, but you have to distract them with something else to get them to leave the park. Now some kids just leave the park. Yep. But a, a lot of kids don't. Yep. So you gotta say, all right, let's go do this instead, and they be like, Mason be like, okay, and then half the time either we go do that or he forget, and we just do something else. <laughs> like, come on, man. 
Come on, dog. Topic it's of right. education, Be Jerrica San stated. These people don't give a shit about our children. They care about money. That's it. That's Your child's cognitive development in direct exchange for their wealth. Your child's cognitive development is your job as a parent. Right. Before they get to school, it is your job as a parent to do all the other stuff. To push for their cognitive yeah. development. You, like, granted, you see this, oh, this isn't developing my child. You bring it out, you put on something else. It's perfectly okay for you to let them watch and thinking it was helping. But if you realize it wasn't, just charge it to the game and move on. Yeah. <laughs> move on. It's They got you. Okay. Yeah. Move on. This is not saying it was right for them to get you. Yeah. But it's like. And it's, I also, bro, and, and if we, truth be told, bro, truth be told, a lot of kids' education on television isn't even education it's television. It's not even that. Education. Like, come on, bro. Yeah. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Let's be real. The good evidence supporting this. <clears throat> a New York Times journalist visited Coco Melon's studio, discovering their number one focus is keeping children hooked. Coco Melon's data and analytics team sifts constantly through YouTube numbers to determine exactly what resonates. Should a girl wear black jeans or blue jeans? Should the music be louder or softer? Should the bus be yellow or red? Yellow the is red? the answer, as the they use a darker red? method to ensure that they're correct. Coco Melon wow. has a dedicated Distractatron room in which huh? once a month oh. children are brought huh? in one at a time and shown a handful of episodes to figure out exactly oh. which parts of the shows are engaging and oh. which are tuned out. Next to the TV playing Coco Melon, there's a second screen which plays a continuous loop of banal real world scenes. A guy pouring a cup of coffee, someone getting a haircut, each lasting about 20 seconds. Whenever a youngster looks away from the Moonbug show to glimpse the Distractatron, a note is jotted oh, down. Day. We can oh, see oh. Oh, they are to the T. Look, look, it's crazy. It's insane. It's insane. It's insane. I'm damn. not even gonna lie to you. But damn, it's insane. Hey, look, I'm not letting my kids watch Coco Melon ever, <laughs> ever. But like, ever. If you got got, bro, just accept that you got got. Spread the word once or twice, and just you know what I'm saying. Hey, bro. Cause let if, if we being real, okay, we gotta be honest. It's gotta be these niggas evil. We gotta be honest. It sound it's sounding evil, okay? I'm gonna put that out there. But I'm this not is their job with them. But it's also their job, and also it happens to you every time you watch anything. Yep. Our job, most most creators nowadays, not all, most creators, especially every TV show, every movie, everything that's produced by a company, their job is to do the same shit to you. So you getting got to the prime example of the boys, the, the show. Well, yes. Yeah. The first episode of the boys is, is always wild, always every time. If you, if you, it's not even just the boys. It's a lot of shows. The first episode of a show you will notice always the wildest one. Yeah. And it, or it, the first and probably like the last second to last. And guess what they end up shows on cliffhangers. Yep. They study this shit, bro. When we, when we, when we. Watch shit to learn how to be better YouTubers and content creators. They be telling us to do shit like this to y'all. <laughs> but to kids is crazy. <laughs> to kids, <that's laughs> to kids is, I mean, not to, to toddlers is crazy. Insane. They what they're Actually, looking at and the exact actually. moment when they got distracted. Therefore, education clearly to be this specific goal. keeping kids' attention is, is, and this is proven by Coco Melon's most addictive element: rapid camera cutting. It's crazy yep. how many times the frame changes on Coco Melon. It's the same type of addicting behavior that we experience on a TikTok binge. It's the quick change of frame that releases the dopamine and makes the videos addicting yeah. to watch. Count the seconds between a change of frame. Well, TikToker the circus brain did exactly this. He firstly counts the changes on My Little Pony, concluding there's about six seconds between each cut. He then compares it to Coca Melon. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, hit one, two, one. With animation, the nightmare is that is Coca Melon. Cervantes draws a similar conclusion. Bro, she found to, that to do this with animation is. Beyond us. Whoa! Whoa! 95% is cut in under two seconds. And Baby Shark? 
go the nightmare that is Cocomelon, Cervantix draws a similar conclusion. She found that 96% of the shots in Baby Shark were shorter than 2 seconds. She then compares 4 different animated shows, again finding Cocomelon has the shorter shots. The longest shot on a Cocomelon video was 6 seconds. The longest shot on Arcane was 8 seconds. The longest shot on Bluey was 27 seconds. And the longest shot on Encanto was 18 seconds. Which when combined with every other element, creates some terrifying statistics. Dr. Kristen Summer wow. explained wow. that when showing an infant normal wow. video content, they'll focus on the screen just 11% of the time. However, when the video is instead switched to Cocomelon, their screen engagement skyrockets to a whopping 74%. This therefore produces stories such as this. I used to volunteer for a preschool and they had song time. A Cocomelon video came on and all of the tots stopped what they were doing, put down their cheese crackers and remained Ayo. fixated on the screen for the duration of the video. It was honestly kind of terrifying. YouTuber Saberspark shared his own personal anecdote. He asked to watch a Disney movie with his two younger cousins who both completely refused and instead spent all day glued to an iPad playing the addictive show. In Cocomelon Made My Kid a Zombie, a mother talks about her son. He would be in a daze sense, while bro. watching it. You could be waving your hand right in sense. front of his face and he wouldn't move. It was almost scary. This was sense. also- I ain't gonna lie. This is evil as shit. Okay, oh, I would never, I hell. would never do this to kids. I would never make kids content. But I'm gonna find a way to get you, motherfucker. All right, I'm gonna <laughs> listen here. I'm gonna find a way. <laughs> I'm gonna oh, find, I'm gonna find a way to Mr. B's Matthew Bean your asses. Okay, all right. <laughs> discovered by Sarah Mills 98 to explain when the Cocomelon addiction is so real that my one year old can navigate the TV to turn it on by Damn, himself. Damn, he trolling! However, nothing shows the addiction better wow. than the Cocomelon Whoa. TikTok trend. Parents will play the show's intro yeah, loudly all, this is and it. video this is their the kids sprinting toward the television yeah, it was where you this. can witness their mood change instantly. The New York Times journalist found something yeah. similar. The kid in the Distractatron had shown up in the midst of a tantrum which ended the second he heard the Coco Melon theme song. It was no surprise to Wheeler, the head of research. 99% of kids, he said, if they're having issues when they get here, once that Coco Melon song comes on, they're like, ah, life is okay. Yeah. All is good with the world. Obviously, there's a reason that sounds for like this. A Cocomelon is so hyper-stimulating that it actually acts as a drug. I just was saying it, bro. I was like, that's a dopamine. Like, that's... Yeah, it's, 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 bro, they drugging these kids hook. without drugging these kids. Yeah. Yeah. Addicted to... Boy. Man. I ain't gonna lie. I need me a show that's gonna do this to me. Because I, I don't be knowing what to watch. I be getting distracted when I find something to watch, bro. I need to lock it. <laughs> oh, I, bro. I, I need to lock it. Bro, I be getting distracted, bro. And I just, I go take a nap. I be, bro, like, I'll cut some on. And if it's not doing it, if, yeah, if it's not hitting, and I, and I end up like this, and I'll be like, oh, shit, I'm supposed to be watching that. Bro, as soon as I go to do this, bro, if I'm watching something, like on TV, if I hit this, I go lay down. I lay down. It's, me. it's um, like, I immediately, it I'm. It for me. You know I'm hey, hey, I'm gonna I'm I'm get y'all opinions on something when we when we finish this video, but uh. Good. And what happens when you take the drug away? Young children experiencing symptoms of addiction and withdrawal, obviously leaving them completely dysregulated. TikTok user the pop find new fun, what bro. happens when you take the show away? Explaining he'll be inconsolable for at least ten to fifteen minutes after. Adding in the description, Coco Melon meltdown is legit. Once you have a taste of the cocoa, it's hard to break the addiction. Yeah. Which this Reddit to. user had experienced even worse. My husband things, and I have been like worried about our child. I can slowly see how she'd throw violent tantrums at home and in church whenever she'd get bored and would want to watch the show. Her behavior changes the moment she watches the show, and she will not even eat her meals if she wouldn't watch it. After these tantrums That's end, crazy. kids can experience a general discomfort in the speed of everyday life. The more they watch the show, the more their brain begins to expect this intense yeah. level of stimulation. And I think, I think, bro, that also goes to, um, oh, we're cooked, bro. We're cooked. Wait, what if, what if they did all of this research was put into the theme song too? The theme song? The Coco Melon theme yeah, they, song. Yeah, they did. They did. That's, so it's like from the minute you, even if they've never seen the show, 
You're hooked. You're hooked, even Bro. if you just hear the song. Bro, we're cooked. And I, it's also a problem of throwing them in front of the TV or the tablet because you don't feel like, because you need to distract them. We're cooked, bro. Think about TikTok. We're cooked. Yeah. We're cooked. We've been cooked. That's why TikTok is still here. We're cooked, bro. It's a better version of Vine, and it's distracting us much, much more. And then they introduced shopping addiction, and then they introduced other shit. We're We're cooked. cooked, bro. Cook. Basically, Coco Melon overstimulates their brains so much that everything else just seems slow and boring in comparison. However, yeah. the potential yeah. consequences get much worse than this. As mentioned at the start, it was the cause of a child's speaking problems. With a notable reply reading, same thing happened with my daughter too. She's four but can't speak properly. She knows the words, but she does not like to frame the sentence or speech. She has been watching these Coco Melons or such other stuffs for two or three years. Years. Hope we're not too late. Over on Reddit, a speech language pathologist explained, screen time in general is linked with speech delays for a variety of reasons, but Coco Melon is excessively bad. Firstly, unlike other TV shows or movies, it doesn't have a story. It's just very short clips with poorly written the songs. songs. The kids are able to follow the plot, learn vocabulary, and see the resolution of a conflict, supported by infant specialist Meg Fora. And the problem with fast-paced TV programs as we find that little one's language development is slower. On the Agents of Speech YouTube channel, this is again confirmed. The main problem with watching videos on the internet is that they don't know how to use the language that they learn. But he adds that four to five hours of screen time per day can make a toddler completely non-verbal. Four to five hours is obviously a lot of time. But in Coco Melon Made My Kid a Zombie, researchers discovered that five-year-olds who watch more than two hours of TV a day tended to have lower attention spans and were seven 7.7 times more likely to show symptoms of ADHD. These screen times might be even lower for Coco Melon specifically because, as explained by Jerrica Sands, not all screen time is created equal. A child who just watched 30 Precisely. minutes of Coco Melon and a child who just watched 30 minutes of Trash Truck will look like a very, very different child. Thankfully, here lies a simple Boy, solution. That 30 minutes of Coco Melon probably feel like you just watched three, four movies. Bro. Huh? Solution. Sierra Renee explained my two year old is speech delayed and addicted to Coco Melon. Switched to Miss Rachel two days ago and he's already saying more words and hasn't had any tantrums. Kim.it shared an almost identical anecdote. My eight month. Find the right type of programming for the kid, put them around other kids that yep. gap, and playtime. A whole lot of like you. Finding things to do, activities to do with them, taking them to the park, little activities in the house, play town with them. Look, there's ways, people. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not bro. the expert, but there's ways. I ain't gonna lie, bro. The moment Mason got around other kids, he started talking. Yeah. <laughs> Mason got. Start- bro, also, I don't know if I told y'all this. Mason called me Uncle Aaron. He was, so, he was oh so proud. God. He was so proud. God. He literally walked. Mason, he was like, Mason, come, come here. We gotta tell him, tell him what you said. They Aaron say, what you say, Mason? <laughs> and then Mexico come. I said, really? <laughs> really? Like, I'm really? Oh my god! was obsessed with Coco Mello. Now, now I'm about to make Mason racist. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke, he's not. And he's having not. bad tantrums, so I cancelled Coco Melon and only let her watch Miss Rachel, and she said her first word within the first three days of watching. Clearly, parents are able to simply change the channel, but not before leaving Coco Melon a massive Damn. amount of dislikes. Hey. It therefore earned the title, The Absurdly Popular Kid Show Parents Hate, and Coco Melon has actually responded to the criticism that explain our shows are not intended to replace our outdoor playtime or playdates. They have a place in children's entertainment time, and as with food, exercise, etc., it comes ooh, down ooh, to each parent to ooh, find the right and appropriate balance for their children. Our niggas hit you with the Andrew Schultz this shit to gigs. Boy said it's our job to let, make sure they watch. It's your job to control our loan, bitch. Ooh. Ooh. He cooked them. Ooh. They cooked them. It's they like, cooked them. It's like if it's a kid out there if it's a parent, you find out your kid was watching us, that's your fault. Because what they watching us for? They cooked them. I don't make content for no uh, 10-year-old. They cooked them. Oh, they hit them with the Uno reverse. You can't even be mad. Hey, bro, I make sure the show is engaging and these little niggas watch it. 
You know they're not supposed to be watching it for two, three hours. Take them outside, bitch. That's what they hit them with. That's oh. what they hit them with. Take them outside. Oh. Put them in daycare. Oh. Come on, Twin. Our responsibility is ensuring that the quality Give of the some content exercise. that we produce is high and beneficial uh, for the development of a child's cognitive and soft skills. It is they worth adding that our social clip. media communities are filled with stories of parents who experience firsthand how Moonbug content <laughs> helps their children. Cocomelon does have a crazy amount of supporters, but it's obvious that some of them are simply ignoring the downsides. My baby learned <laughs> the alphabet and numbers from Cocomelon. She may not speak a complete sentence but she expresses her wants through phrases. But is a Coco Melon's responsibility to ensure that babies are talking? Well, nope. Nope. It's all nope. the parents, bro. It's no show's responsibility the parents, bro. to teach your kids anything. It's really. on the parents, bro. Come on. No, people love blaming cartoons and games for raising children and not the shitty parents that don't step in to stop them from watching so much. Cocomelon is actually a really sad symbol of parents giving their children tablets instead of actually parenting and interacting with them. Let's Throwing a rock honest. from inside the house. Let's be honest. There's not many sh shows of, of for any age that um, make the show to teach you things. Facts. Toddler shows, little kid shows, teenager shows, adult shows. There's not many that aim to teach you. It's Thanks. literally to get your attention. Them. Ultimately, parents are the people who choose how much their child consumes. Now, with that being said, there's wrongs on both sides. Yeah, so, <laughs> Coco Melon is doing wrong. Yeah, facts. And the parents are doing it wrong. Facts. It's just, you know what I'm saying? It's up to, it's up to you. It's, it's your job as a yeah. parent not to. You gotta accept the fact that you put them in front of the TV for two, yeah. two, three hours straight. It, that's what you did, twin. Nice.